Inside Optimize Press, you have the option to add in complex row layouts, or quite simple row layouts. But also inside the complex ones, you have the ability to split other rows further down. So I'm gonna show you that example just now. If you look on the screen here, if I hover over this element, we get this little tiny plus sign appear here. Now, this row itself is a two column kind of row using a three fifth and one fifth layout. So if I go ahead and actually add this um, row in, let's choose, actually let's choose the one third and two third, um, similar example. You can see here as I hover over, I have the option then to split this row again, so I could, or this column, sorry, I can click on the plus sign, and from here I can then choose to split it again into a slightly more complex layout than what it already has inside it. So we could choose a three column layout inside the two third split row. So you can see if you were trying to add a video and maybe put some different style of button layouts underneath the video, then this layout would work well. So that's by clicking on the little plus symbol, and from there choosing other layout options or other column layout options to appear inside your rows.